and welcome back to another episode of Walking Mile Next uh, Talking Bollocks. Some people say that's all we do, mate. That is all we do. Um, <laughs> so today we are in, um, well, we're in Burnt House Lane. We're in the historic Burnt House Lane. This is it. We're going to be walking around Burnt House Lane, uh, Wanford, uh, Rifford Road, all that area. Yep. Just talking a little bit about history, talking lots of bollocks. Yep. You know, most that's of what usual. we say is true, but yep. that, that could also be a lie. Yeah. So we don't know, really, do we? Make but, up your um, own minds. Make up your own minds, that's it. So we're going to walk around and, um, yeah. Just see what happens. See what happens, that's right. Star Trek, mate. Yeah, so we're going straight in. <laughs> um, yep. So, yeah, how did um, how did this place all come about then? Okay, so... Oh, by the way, we're going to get all this... All our information is coming from a little blog we found on Exeter Memories. Yep. Uh, just so uh, anyone accuses us of stealing it, we are stealing it. We are stealing it, yeah. yeah. So, the West Quarter has become an impoverished slum area during the 19th century with crowded and unhygienic accommodation. The, the little bit in Exeter down by, um, between kind of 4th Street and South Street where the house that moved. Yes. That whole area there it used to be the slums of Exeter, basically, and it became, it was full of like um, drunk people, basically, and people impoverished, nasty conditions and all that. So, um, so the council... Yep, so the council in 1920, soup kitchens had been set up for the poorest uh, people in the city. Uh, the city council decided that something must be done about the conditions, so the council embarked on an ambitious development of new housing using some of the new ideas uh, developed by the Garden City Movement. Mm-hmm. On the 21st of February 1929, a compulsory purchase order was made by the city council for 90 acres of farmland on either side of a lane in Warnford, which took its name, Burnt House Lane, after a farmhouse that burnt to the ground one Saturday night. Um, I wonder where the original Burnt House Lane, where the house was? I have no clue, mate. Do you think there's a plaque somewhere for it? No, I don't think there is. No, you've no. never seen one? No. Okay. So this is something of interest. This yeah. is Rainbow Chinese Takeaway. Yeah. Quick plug. Um, this used to be a corner shop. Okay, yeah. Do you remember them, Felix? Yeah, I remember corner shops. corner shops. Yeah, yeah. This leads onto Topsham Road, which is over there. The big yep. blue bridge kind of signifies kind of where you are. Um, just down kind of that way is Countess Weir and then Topsham. Up there is sort of St. Leonard's and then you get into town, the Exeter mm-hmm. city centre. So um, just to give you an idea of where we are, and then you go up here and um, this is Burnt House Lane up here. And Rifford Road, is that the road that leads through or further down? It is, it's the road that down? goes right down. So okay. we've also got the school down there, which yeah. is, uh, used to be called Priory. That's right. And now is Isca. It's been run again. So yeah, Isca School of Arts or Isca, Isca Academy. Or it, it is, is it, it is. Yeah. It, it, it was, it's, it's just Priory School. It was Priory School for years. In a lot of my mates went there. Yes, I yeah. went there. Probably, he went there. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Uh, hated it. Four years of absolute torture. Yeah. Uh, looked like a mental hospital when... Um, yeah. All schools are like that. that yeah, there, right? exactly. Now they've yeah. uh, drummed it up a bit and uh, made it look a little bit better. they made it... They're giving the impression that it's posher than what it is. Exactly, yes. Than what Calling it is. It, uh, the performing arts school, whatever it is. Yeah. yeah. You, you, can, you can name it whatever you like, yeah. can't you? <laughs> yeah, this is it. This is it. <laughs> But um, yes, there's a, a few more. A turd, mate. There's a few more shops up here as well. Yeah. There's one shop that side as, a, as an Iva. What was it? Iva Big and Pasties over there. Yeah. <laughs> and there's a, uh, a corner, another corner shop over that side. So you got, you know, you got yeah, you've got stuff you need all the and all amenities that. Here, mate. All the amenities. Yeah. And they've been here pretty much forever, haven't they? Like, yes. So yeah, in around about the 20s, 1920s, about 12 houses per acre were planned with a broad tree and grass verge road with carving street, the carving streets. Yeah. You can tell, I think, what is the original houses. I think, like, these houses over here are the original ones. There's a certain thing about the bricks yeah. that kind of gets me with that. Certain um, other houses, you can tell, were a little bit later. Yeah. But, um... They also were transformed... It's a definite style, wasn't it? Also, these houses are transformed into flats now. Yeah. So, oh, I've seen that, yeah. Up and down this like, road. Yeah, yeah. three three-bedroom houses, and now they're basically turned into flats. I mean, that tells you something about the council as well, how, um... They used to get a nice council house, would have, like, three bedrooms in it, a massive garden, yeah. massive front garden. More space than you have to do with, really, and now people are just being shoved into tiny flats. They are. So these houses you would have been awarded once, you're now given, like, half of that. Not even that, mate. Not even honest. that, yeah. yeah. Just a room, basically. So it's shit, isn't it? Yeah. So here we go, there's a pub over here. This is the uh, the Dolphin 
which used to be the tap and barrel. It was a tap and barrel, but it was the Dolphin first, I think. It was. And then yeah, it, was, it, got, the tap it got and barrel. changed to the tap and barrel later on. And then it yeah. went back to the Dolphin. Yeah, so I suppose um, we'll probably have to stop in here for a, uh, a pint at the end of this, end of this video, <laughs> won't we? Because that's kind yeah. of what we do. We always end in a pub, right? So uh, I guess, you know, why not? But also, you know, with council estates as well, back then they, they, they had this idea of building a council estate with its own pub in it. Yes. And all its own shops, which is a great idea. It's they don't do that. It was community in them days. It was. And the pubs are that's like the, idea, the heart, yeah. heartbeat of the community, basically. Are you going to go down here? Yep. So we got basically a bookies okay. over here. So you've got lad books. So you need you need a bookies on a, like a street, you know? That's that's a functioning thing, isn't it? That's, yeah, pretty that's... much, yeah. Okay, yeah. so that's where you um get skinned then? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. We're going down here? Yeah, let's go down here. We're going to deviate slightly. So, um, so here is the main road. Obviously, it goes up and down here, the long road. Down there leads to more houses. Yep. And more part of the estates. And around here... Um, here's another part. We we're going to go a little bit down here and we're going to go a little bit down there as well, just to give you an idea. Shall we just uh, mention that this side of Burnhouse Lane is named yeah. after like uh, trees and shrubs and bushes and everything like that? That's right. So one side is trees yeah. and the other side is poets. Yes. Is that right? It is, yeah. yeah. So you've got Milton Road, Fantastic. you've got Hawthorne and, and uh, Shakespeare. People used to be able to drive through here. They had, this and they blocked it all off with these barricades. So, yeah, um, it's called like a family friendly zone. That's right, so you can't kind of joyride around, yeah. run over small children and all that or stuff. Or it's more of a challenge. So we have Hawthorne Road, which is another yeah. which is a tree. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Hawthorne obviously being a tree. Um, let's have a look. So yeah, this is Hawthorne Road. Yeah. If you go up this side, you've got one, you've got one way going. Yeah. Here's another. And here's so, another a bit of a bit of a roundabout here. Yeah. Yeah. And you've got Laurel Road so over which there. Way, which way are we going? Yeah, we're we're going to go... Going we're going that side, are yeah. we? Okay, cool. Let's go. So, um, this is all original houses, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, I would say so. I would... Like, you can... Like, if it's got one window up and one window down... Yeah. It's normally a two-bedroomer. Yeah. If you have, like, a one big window and one small window, it's normally a three-bedroomer. Oh, so, okay. Got yeah. some cool design, quirky designs yeah, going on is, as well. I'm That's guessing, got to have been built on, isn't it? These are also, I'm guessing these are bought because, like, if you look at the you know, window cladding, yeah. these are all been new put in. Yeah, that's right. So we are talking a little bit about this, how the council um, bought in this scheme that if you lived in a house long enough, a council house, you could then buy the house for a much cheaper price than yeah. you would anywhere else. So a lot of people bought their houses eventually rather than just paying loads of money out each mm -hmm. month for the rent. And um, then what happened is they basically sold them off so they could go and get a nicer place elsewhere. That's true. And then basically young, I well, keep saying basically, so young middle class families then who wanted, oh, to, wanted to start a house could then buy these houses quite fairly cheap and then move in here. So that kind of, it kind of becomes a little bit kind of gentrified also, in a way. You yeah. lose the community, you lose, you the, um, you lose the community the council spirit. tenants and it all becomes a bit like everywhere else, yes. I guess, after a little while. Also, I don't want to get political here, but like Thatcher, yeah. Thatcher in the 80s did say buy your council house yeah. and she forgot to build any more. <laughs> so. Yeah, this is it. So then, so then you've got no fucking council houses <laughs> yeah. and then you've got no houses. I mean, this is probably where we're at with the, um, the housing crisis that That's apparently exactly that right. we're in now. Yeah. Even though there are so many houses around and so many empty houses, but we won't get into all that. No, I think that's um, a video for another day, mate. Then again, though, you know, politics is bollocks. Yeah. And we're talking bollocks, so, well, um, yeah. you know, it's all, it's all... It's all relative, mate. It's all relative, isn't it? Exactly. But yeah, so um, so where are we going now? We will go... You want to go and see where I used to live, because... So we're going to go and see where your old house yes. was. So this I is moved, where you grew up, yeah? This is where I grew up, yeah, Burnham House Lane. Yeah. yeah. So I moved here when I was five years old from Riff Raff Road. That's what the locals called it. Yep. Yeah. And um, then we moved out for a few years and then we moved back. So yeah, it's a lovely place to live. Really, yeah. really good people. Really um, happy memories here. Yeah. Another roundabout. That yeah. used to be like a sort of green or like grass. Oh and yeah, yeah. Just over a gum with bushes because kids used to play football on it. Right. Like okay. That. Yeah, yeah. So they wanted to try and pretty up and stuff like that. Yeah. The friendly family zone is still going on over there in the Burnham. Yeah. So yeah, it's okay. Yeah. So you've seen a lot of changes around here, then, yeah, yeah? mate. Yeah. So many changes. Not quite. Not quite the place you knew. No, but like familiar. When I came back here, it yeah, it was like fitting into a nice comfy pair of slippers again. You know. Nice. It's so like, you went off to uh, America, right? Well, <laughs> for a bit. Well, yeah, for a bit when we was younger. But yeah. Yeah. So they were back. We won't come back, and then like 
we like bought Chestnut. Yeah. And then um, when the housing market crashed and everything like that, we sort of lost our house. So here we go, here's another Holly Road. Yep, Holly Road. Yeah. So how do you mean you lost your house? So uh, we, we had it repossessed. Oh really? Yeah. Shit. Okay. And um, so we moved about a bit. We were homeless quite a bit. And in 2012, we came back to Laburnum. Wow, okay. Quite so, an adventure then, yeah? Quite a journey, yes. Yeah. yeah. Blimey. So you've got Briar Crescent over here as well. That's another, is Briar another tree? I would say, wow, well, yeah, that's what I was thinking or about. Bush, bush or something? I was, yeah, the Briar Patch, isn't it, basically? So. Apparently you've got humps four, five 500 yeah. yards over that there. Way. Yeah. yeah. Over here, in the distance here, yeah. is uh, Ludwall Valley uh, Park, isn't it? Yeah, which is beautiful. Nature Reserve, a yeah. lovely place. You can just walk straight through this estate up there, and you can, up there, you can walk through, straight through this estate up there, and you can just walk around, yeah. uh, or roll down the hills if you prefer. Well, can we just say that? Because yeah. that hill... Roly Poly Hill. kids used to call it Roly Poly <laughs> Hill. Yeah. And, oh, yep. Hazel, Road, Hazel Road down here, of course, uh, leading to Chet Chestnut Avenue. Yep. Hazel Road, obviously Hazel, another nut, another yep. tree. So yes, we have a whack and great field down there. Yeah, yeah. Which people did you spend a lot of time there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Playing army, playing football, everything. Like yeah. That. Nice. So here we go. So um, this is Chestnut Avenue. Yeah, this is just is Chestnut Avenue. Right, yeah. there we go. So um, where are we going now? Then where did you live? Going down there. Okay. So basically, yeah. In the old days, this would be for the kids. Yeah. Like kids would be out playing curbs. You know, like um, oh, throwing the ball into yeah, the, the um, bars, throwing a ball down to the side of the road. Yeah, yeah, and stuff yeah like that. we used to do that in because uh, obviously I'm a countless wheel lad, so um, we didn't dare come here. No, no. <laughs> because back then there was a massive rivalry between Countless Weir and Burton House Lane. There was between the kids, and if you came down here, you'd get in a fight. But and if they came to Countless Weir, they'd get in a fight. Sure. It was that way of, of, of doing it, really. But the places were pretty similar, to be honest. But also. We put our uh, differences aside. Yeah, here, put, just for this video. Yes, just for this video. We'll start fighting as soon as the cameras so, are off. Yeah. We'll so, be fighting again. Yeah, yeah. So that one five three. Is That's yours, is it? That's that was yours. Yeah. What do you think? One day you'll buy it back. Do you know what? I'd love to go in and see what they've done with it. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, my dad really like loved his garden. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would try be weird. And try and befriend the people who live there, so you can my go dad, in and uh, take my, a look. My dad loved his garden, and he like did it all lovely. Like had a lovely uh, raspberry oh, bush and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Really good. Yeah. Well, there we go. Perfect. Right, I guess we're going to go back yeah. uh, this way, I suppose. Yeah. Let's do it. Yonder. So there is some graffiti with BHL, Burnham yeah. Lane. I don't know what it says underneath it. SMK. So what is that? A gang thing? I think so, mate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. What are the gangs like round here these days? I don't know, mate. I like stay away from gang culture. Anyway. Stay away yeah, from gang yeah, culture. Yeah. It's probably quite a uh, uh, smart move. Nice move mate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They used to be the uh, the weird troop. <laughs> <That's weird. laughs> I just think that was a bunch of different kids writing weird troop on stuff. I don't really believe that that was ever a um a thing. But um, so the BHL thing. I mean. It sounds familiar, isn't that a shop in the high street? Well, well nah. Nice. Sell clothing. Yeah, yeah, it used to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It moved to, but yeah, it moved here. Yeah. There's a notice board down here. There you go. Find things in the weirdest places, don't yeah. you? So now we've moved on to Shakespeare. No, Shakespeare, you can't see the S. <laughs> yeah. um, Shakespeare Road. So was we're getting on to. Was, was he a was playwright? He a writer? Yeah. yeah, he <laughs> yeah, was a playwright so, yeah. at one point. Yeah. yeah, that's right. So obviously that side would just been down was the, um, the trees and all yeah. that. This side is the uh, poets yeah. and the writers and all that. So we're going to go down here. Really nice houses again down here. Like lovely family homes, mate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which side do you think is the best then? Well, because I because, from, lived... because I come from that side, it's yeah. always going to be that it's side. It's got to be that side, right? It's like this side or that side of the river. This side, you know? that side of the pond. This is it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So, um, yeah. So we've got Milton Road. There we yeah. go. So Milton, obviously a writer. Yeah. Can you name him? <laughs> or or Milton you... Jones, the comedian. That's right, named after Milton Jones <laughs> yeah. down, down there, it's quite yeah. interesting. Um, so we're going to go this way, just down here for a little bit, and uh, see we've got some more humps coming up. Yeah. So did, they used to, did you guys used to fight? Um, did you get like the poets versus the trees? No, that? no, no, no. No? Clock of coins type gangs? No, it, it, like the jets <laughs> and the sharks. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it, you didn't get dance-offs. Nope. Yeah, yeah. So Brook Avenue. Brook Avenue. Um, was Brook a writer, or is that just a Brook? Is that what that is? Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Do you know? I have no idea. No, this is it. 
you don't know what writers do, we? Not enough. We not enough. Shakespeare, I that's about it. Well, I know a few more than well, that. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a nice place to sit down here, anyway. Yeah, this is a, it's a thing, isn't it? Bit of a dodgy smell around here, but. Yeah, yeah. that's just us, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> Surely. Yeah. Yeah. Used to be my brother's old house. Yeah. Oh, right, this is your, this was your brother's place, was yeah, it? Yeah, he bought this. Oh, nice. When he moved out. Cool. So, where's he gone now then? Uh, don't give me the exact address, because oh, yeah. you two people will go, we'll go, we'll go to his house and yeah. congregate outside and, and candles and stuff, you know, you know what they're like. Yeah. So, um, yeah, more houses. Yeah. It goes on, doesn't it? It goes, it goes on more than we go nice on. Nice little alleyway down there. There you go, that gets you back to, uh, back to that way again. Yeah. Okay. Vast, isn't it? It is. So, do you spend a lot of time down here then? Yeah. Yeah? Like when you were a kid in them days, you, just you were always out. Yeah, wandering um, the streets. Yeah, and basically, like you didn't come in until it was. You had you come in for tea. Yeah. Then you went out again. Um, That's why. The problem right. was that the girls didn't come out until after neighbours and home and away ended. Yeah. So you had to wait for that, that to end <laughs> for them to come out. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I was in there with the girls watching uh, watching neighbours and home and away. <laughs> I tell you. You'd see me after the four after he stands with me. <laughs> yeah. That's right. But um, yeah. yeah. Were there any uh, any people who would um, any places you couldn't go? Any anywhere like no? Like, any bullies down here? Anyone who would like? No, because like you knew everybody. Yeah. And because I played sport, like I played it with the bigger kids and stuff like that. So I was always okay with them, you know. And stuff yeah. Like that. So, okay. Yeah. Cool. That's good. Like, Cowpaw Avenue, Dickens Drive. So obviously that's um. Charlie Dickens. Charlie Dickens. Charlie Dickens. That famous one there. Yeah. Um, yeah, what's that over there then? That's got to be the back of the barracks, I'm guessing. That is, isn't it? Yeah. You've got the massive wall with the barbed wire on it. Yeah, do you want to climb so it? I'm gonna, we can have a go, we can, can we? We can go for it, yeah. So, if another lane. The sirens go off. Another lane <laughs> going down that way. Yeah. I wouldn't travel that though. <laughs> I wouldn't know, I wouldn't know. Um, so, down here, where, where are we now, do you think? I am guessing we're just coming out right next to the shop. Oh, so okay. The dolphin, so we're coming out. So ah, so we've done a little, uh, a little circle a little here. Circle, yeah. Nice. Okay. Well, there you go. You see, now what you do get on this channel, on this particular series, is a lot of bullshit talked. What you don't get on other series is a nice actual tour around an estate yeah. in a place you don't know yeah. for free. Exactly. You yes. know. So you can thank us in the comments for that. <laughs> <laughs> we get no sun in this uh, country, so. It doesn't really pay for itself. You have a cat. Cat, yeah. What's the cat gone? Oh, cat's gone. The one stop. This is the other shop, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Which one's better, the the one shop or the one down there? Well, cost cutters used to be uh, called Butters. Right. Mr. and Mrs. Butter used to. Mr. Own and Mrs. Butter. And they were lovely. They were lovely. Well, it's a happy family, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's exactly that, mate. It's exactly that. So Shakespeare's Road, Shakespeare Road. On the side here, we have this building here, which says um, Jay Rice. Jay Rice. And now you go around the side of this. I've always wondered about this place because, um, as you'll see, what is this now? Is it someone's house? Because it's got it like is. stuff it's, going on in the garden. Bit, yes. Because is it flats? I think it so. is flats. I yeah, yeah. So. But right here, look, you've got uh, fruitier. Yeah. The final fruitier. So this was uh, yeah, fruit and veg. It was. So back in the thirties, there's a cat in the window there as yeah. well. Why? Right yeah. There. Back in the thirties, this would have been the um, the fruit and veg place. Then this would have been the, the doorway. Absolutely. Right straight there. Straight in there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I mean, that would have been. But the windows are now would have been a hollow thing, wouldn't oh, it? Absolutely. That would have yes. been the fruit and veg yeah. straight in there, right? Yeah. Shop front. Mm -hmm. Um, interesting, right? Because it used to be like a, it used, it opened up as like a shop um, that sold like cheap shell suits and all of that. Oh, really? Yes. When was this then? Early nineties. I was. Wow. Did you buy your uh, shell I suits from me there? A white and pink shell suit. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Fantastic. Oh, man. Thank you, mate. <laughs> Jeez. That is weird, isn't it? Yeah. Who would have thought it? So yeah, all flats now. Yeah. Um, not not yeah, being reopened as a shop. For, for yeah, flats one and two. Must gnomes there. Okay, here, here we've we got the dolphin, uh, uh, fish, the dolphin and chip fish and chip. So what's this like then, all right? Um, yeah, okay. Um, not my favourite, but okay. Um, I hear good things about it. Is this the place that will you, take, you bring in any chocolate bar and they will deep fry it for you? I think so. That's what I've been told. Yes. So the whole deep fried Mars bar, they, they take it to extremes here and they'll do yeah. whatever. And basically, it used, always was a chip shop. Yeah. Um, when I was growing up, you used to be able to get Kona chips here. They used to have Commando, like an arcade machine in there. Oh, nice. And it was run by Ooh. a right miser. Like, yeah. his portions were really, really um, <laughs> rubbish. 
Um, then a guy from Manchester took over and his chips yeah. were absolutely beautiful. He only lasted a few months and then um, this guy is Bill's who, who used to own Choi's down the road. Why? Right, okay, yeah. So, I know that, yeah, yeah. So here we also have um, Mark Shute. So Mark Shute sadly passed away. Um, lovely fella. So there we go. So that's just showing us. Uh, um, that's just showing us a little bit of the community that yeah, still obviously a, exists around yeah, here, that's right? Just, yeah, that, uh, that's what happens. That's the solidarity. Yeah, the, um, this is a, this is the thing. That's a good thing, right? Yeah. So over here we've got the. Um, if you go over here, we've got the town city stylists next yeah. to Ladbrokes. That's a guy. Uh, what is it? So a can, barber's place. Yeah. Is it? So you can get your hair cut and then go in for a cheeky bet. And then go for a pint. Yeah, exactly. It's all pretty good. It's isn't all done. It? Yeah. And then go to the shop on your way home. <laughs> it's all, yeah. Perfect. And just get some chips. Just a Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're heading up. To the school. Heading up towards the school now. So I'm going to guess you went to. I did. They, they, yeah. It's called Waystream School now. Yeah. But it was Bradley Row um, Infants and Middle when I went now. Okay. Um, in the old days, I think um, Priory used to be an all-girls school, so they sent the girls down to there. Oh, really? And then they sent the boys up to, I think it was Ladysmith or something right, like that. And these were what, high schools? or? Yes, I think so, yeah. Right, then, yeah. okay. This um, is now a uh, little school, isn't it, down yeah, here? Yeah, because my mum didn't take her 11+, plus because she was in America at the time. Yeah. Um, so she came back and she had to go to the secondary modern down, like, Priory. Oh, uh, yes. okay, yeah. Yeah, so I'm not really sure when they amalgamated it for boys and girls, but, yeah, it's, yeah. it was a uh, girls' school, and then there's a boys' school. Interesting. Because my uncle went there. Well, I went to um, St. Peter's, which is up there, up yes. the top. That used to be Heels School. It did. Back in the day. It I mean, did. my granddad went there. Yeah. And uh, he said that him and his mates had to ride their bikes through here really quickly. Yeah. Because the, the rival schools would come out and chase them. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. Whenever there was, like, school fights, you know, you'd see yeah. them bombing down here on their bikes, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is it. Does that, does that still up? go on? Do you know? I don't know, mate. I have no idea. I don't hang around schools much. <laughs> no, no, no. It's probably, probably a wise choice. Yeah. Um, I guess this stuff still happens. You yeah. just wouldn't know about it, would yeah. you? That's the thing. This is the hut. Um, yeah. Hairdressers, obviously. Yeah. Uh, for as long as I can remember, it used to be like a um, winery or an off license. Yeah. So that's where everybody used to go and get their cheap booze. Oh, uh, right. Okay. So this was the offy, was it? It was, yeah. Um, then you had... in. It is now extra fast food. Yeah, yeah. Um, it used to be the um, corner shop, another one, like a news agent. Yeah. Very good, yep. Was there for years and years and years. And this is still, obviously still running. Yep. It's open now, I it think, is. isn't it? Yeah. Nice. I get in there. Right, um, <laughs> so what have we got over here? Lilac Road, yep. obviously more plants. Yep. Um, post office over here. This is the other shop then. Post basically. office it used to be down there where the hairdressers were. Oh, okay, that's yeah, moved that's up fine. here now. This, this is the other convenience shop as well, this isn't is, it? This is a cost cutter now. Yeah, yeah. Okay. A friend of mine works in there. Tara. Yeah. Shout out. Shout out. Yep. A long, long road. This uh, leads onto those sunny hills over there, yeah. as you can see. Absolutely beautiful. That's right. Do you remember, like, did anybody tell you about Ghost Town? Ghost Town? Yes. What was that then? So there were a couple of, like, buildings. And yeah. You had to go across, like, Roly Poly Hill. Yeah. Through all the dense, like, trees and everything like that. Oh, hang on. And you came out at, like, a sort of burnt out buildings. Yes. Yeah, Ghost yeah, Town. yeah, yeah. Is this, um, because there was a whole little, um, bit down by the, uh, Tesco's where, um, Basically, there were um, sort of old abandoned farm buildings. That's right. A little yeah. road. Is that the road? Yeah. That is. Yeah, yeah, I remember that D near the kind of um, yes. the um, Digby. Digby and Salton, yeah. which is now Digby is now obviously uh, houses. Yes. And stuff. It's all been kind of metropolitan like uh, place, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Right. You know, you, if you quit to live there. Yeah. 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 But yeah, my mum used to because my mum was a psychiatric nurse, so she used to work up Digby. So yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. used to take us up there and stuff like that. So yeah, good times, mate. Good times. Yeah. yeah. So now we're down, we're heading towards, um, where are we actually? We we're, are heading towards Riff Raff Road. Yeah. So basically we're coming so out. there's Kipling Drive yeah, over Kipling there. Drive, That's Drive. Named, named after the... Um, Roger Kipling. Named after the man who made exceedingly good cakes. Yes, exactly. Isn't that, isn't that right? Well. That's right, yep, yep. Yeah, he was busy, man. He wrote poems and yeah, he found cakes. time to bake apple pies yeah. at the same time, which is pretty impressive. So, multitasker, um, mate. Multitasker. So, as you go up here, look, you go to a nice leafy little kind of um, mm -hmm. suburb, really, yeah. isn't it? Starting to go out the Burnt Day now. This is like the end bit. 
And over yeah. there are the new flats, the new builds and stuff like that. That's right. What about these little flats here? I've always wondered about these. They are like L-shaped flats. I have yeah. no idea when they were built, but those ones, it used to be like a an old folks home here. Yeah, okay, yeah. And they demolished that. Yeah. Kicked all the old people Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And uh, built up new flats. Okay, right. Yeah, I remember all these being built. So yeah. we're going through here. Yeah. But as you can see, the fields. So, yeah, these are all like much newer, you can tell, can't yeah. you? It's not the same brickwork, it's not the same thing, is it? No. Not at all. I wouldn't like to have sort of guess when they were built. I would say these are probably built sometime between the 50s and like 70s, yes, I right. would imagine. Okay. They're more like the um, Carrots Weir. Yeah. This Carrots Weir, I think, was 50s, I think. Yeah. If I'm right on that, I don't know. Maybe. But as you can see, the build quality is. <laughs> it's not there, not is it? There, mate. It's like a sort of Mr. Man. It looks house, like a Lego right? block house. Yeah, 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 this is it. This well, is that's the problem with today's architecture as well. Yeah, so a lot of this has been. Because you've got Browning close over here as well. Yeah. Obviously, that's um, another poet. Yeah. But these aren't your old houses, are they? Yeah. So really, um, Burnt House Lane is just over there, isn't it? Yep. And that's it. That is it, basically. Yeah, yeah. So Rifford well, Road still... being down here. Yes, so basically I would say that Burnt House Lane ends just as we go, just past Littles. Yeah. And that's it. Over there is the doctor's surgery. So we're kind of at the Ring Road now where like that way leads to kind of Wallingford House and the hospital. Yeah. That way leads to Bifford Road, right? And we also have the RD&E just the over there. The RD&E yeah. just over behind these uh, flats here. So um, so these style flats over here, you'll find these, uh, let's have a little look, we'll find these all over Exeter, right? Yeah. They're in Catersweer, they're also in um, kind of Beacon Heath area as well. Yeah, that's Exactly great. the same. And if you go inside them, they're exactly the same layouts mm -hmm. as well. These must have been built in the um, 50s, 60s, I would imagine. Yeah. So we move over here, we've got Little. Little's been here for quite a long time, hasn't it? It has, it used to be Leo, Leo's. Yeah, it was well, Leo's back in the um, back in, in it, the 80s, wasn't it? And then it was co-op, obviously, but yeah, when it was little, uh, when it was Leo's, you used to have a lovely uh, boot sale down here every Sunday. You did, that's, that's, that's some proper memories you're yeah. bringing up there, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Leo's car park, car yeah, boot really sale, good, yeah. Yeah, mate, really good. My uh, granddad used to uh, do all his shopping in Leo's as well, Yeah, you I could, remember. Yeah, my brother was a butcher in Leo's. Oh, really? Yeah. It's quite a nice, um, proper, proper good little um, little supermarket, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, much like Tesco's or, or things we should find now. Yeah. I mean, little was like um, little's good for your cheap beer yeah. and your uh, your nuts and um, cereals and stuff. And I will say, little's do a great bakery. They're like they do, yeah, yeah, yeah. It. It's not a bad one, you yeah. know, but um, it's kind of everywhere now, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And this used to be different as well. They they remade, they, did, they knocked they, it all down and rebuilt they, it as well. The sports centre is down there. Yeah, the sports centre. There's a nice field yep. in behind here. Should we go and investigate a little bit of that? Let's do it. This used to be the Wantford Social Club, you know, for kids and stuff like that, like a kind of biker grove type of thing. Yeah, yeah. And then you've got the sports centre there, which is quite nice. Yeah. Yeah, so it's lovely. That used to be a member there. And then we have like a Andy's Man Club, so. I only found out this a few years ago about Andy's yeah. Man Club, and it's uh, basically for men to get together, talk about like issues that they've got, like depression and stuff like that, or yeah. things like that. So it's a real helpful organisation. Positive thing, isn't yeah. it? So we get a bit of that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So if you're ever feeling down or anything like that, there are the guys to contact if you need some help. That's good, man. That's a good, good positive thing, isn't it? So how long has this been here, the uh, sports centre? Oh, uh, years and years and years. Since You've got I a phoenix rising from the flames over there. Yeah, since I was going to school, mate. Yeah, yeah. Let's go and have a little look at the, uh, look at the field. So that's through this way. Yeah, you can just go through this way. Yeah. It's a lovely place to come, like if you want to bring a family like to walk around like the Ludwell Valley and stuff like that. Yeah, and that's right. I've done the... Um, Done the Ludwell Valley a few times. Yeah. That is quite a nice little walk, yeah. isn't it? Go down by the Panny with the kissing gate and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, during the old uh, COVID times. Yeah. We used to drive out there, walk around the old uh, Ludwell Valley. It's lovely to get back to nature. It is, and you can go to a certain point and you can see all of like Burnt House Lane as yeah. well below it. So here we go, so here's some of the uh, houses out here. Yeah. Here's the fields. So th those are. Those are like, they were built when I was a kid. Yeah. So they're relatively new. They're interesting. They've got like weird like gargoyles they and have. stuff going on. They have. Um, this is a brilliant field. You know, you, have, you used to have a cricket pitch over there. Yeah. You used to, you've got goes for football. Really fun times down here. Absolutely lovely. At the back is the panny and you used to be able to do panny jumping. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
and there used to be a famous one called the corner yeah that not many people could jump um i think jason ronchetti did it actually to be honest oh right. so, yeah um but yeah it's very very lovely um and it's good, but it's not getting used as much as it should be. No, obviously. To be honest. Yeah. Well, um, it will be in the summer, right? Maybe. Well, no. It's Maybe like, not. The kids don't really do it anymore, mate. They all play on their Xboxes, yeah, right? pretty much. So here we are at the end or the beginning of Burntnose Lane. Yeah, whatever your, your, point um, of view. your point of view is. So uh, this goes over to... Um, uh, plenty of flats over there, one for uh, Willow Court, sorry. Yeah. And stuff like that. A little, yeah. little uh, roundabout here, yeah. uh, level lane over there. Obviously, yeah. we're back um, Burnt House Lane sign across the road. Mm -hmm. So, this is it then. Burnt House Lane basically begins and ends here. Begins and ends here. Yeah. So, what we're going to go now is up um, Whifford Road, then, yeah? yeah? To talk a bit chat. That's right. Okay, yeah. So, that is the chat. That's cool. So, we're. Um, we're approaching the chapel now, aren't we? There's a cross right here as well. So the chapel of St. Lloyd's, uh, situated in the East Warnford area, is now a ruin, but it was once a domestic chapel, housing a stable and a cow shed. Oh, yeah. Uh, the historian Ethel Leg Weeks yeah. um, believed that the chapel dated from around 1238, as William Gervais, mayor yeah. and founder of X Bridge, uh, was an important landowner uh, in East Watford. Oh yeah. Uh, in that year and may have the, uh, erected the uh, building. Yeah? Yeah. That's pretty good. Okay, so um, what was it for then? Just a chapel? Just a chapel. So I always got told that it was bombed during the war. And ah. they never rebuilt it. Now, if you want to go. really know the real truth. Yes. There's a... Uh, yeah, St. Louis Chapel was built in the 1380s to serve a ru rural mansion and was dedicated to the patron saint of blacksmiths and goldsmiths. After 400 years, it had fallen into disrepair and was used as a stable. St. Louis' emblem is a horseshoe. Well, there we go. Very good. There we go. Should we go and have a little look further? Yeah. We'll go around, um, we'll go around this side. I think you can get around this side, can't you? Let's have a look. Yeah, here we go. Lovely. So, yeah. Um, yeah. A weird little thing, right? To have. So I got told. You got told it was I to hang a place to hang witches, right? No, I got told. I got told. Yeah. That it was bombed during the war and they couldn't be asked to rebuild it. Yeah. Um, I also got told that if you go down the bottom of River Road and you turn right. Yeah. And that's where it all used to be fields and stuff like that. And there's like a service station. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah, that's, and that's they, leading on to High Barton yeah, and all that. And that's where they took the prisoners to be hanged. Oh, okay. And they brought them to this chapel for their last rites. Right. That so, could be right, couldn't it? That could be right. That could be wrong. Yeah, I yeah. do not know. But it's like legends passed down, I guess. Yeah. Interesting though, isn't it? Yeah. In the middle of all this like urbanism. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A chapel that was from the 1380s. That's why right. it just goes to show though that this was indeed just um just a big field with a lane going down the middle of it yeah and they built an entire estate on it yes. there you go and if you've ever been to exeter you'd probably know burnt house lane yeah as we say burnt house lane did have a bit of a reputation back it in the did. day didn't it it did yes uh undeserved reputation isn't yeah it? That's, you reckon so that's from a biased person who lived there so. that's the thing so burnt house lane had a dodgy reputation by all the people that didn't live there yeah. so the people that did live here um have always told me i speak to the older people at the bus stops and stuff i chat to them and they tell me that um there's a real sense of community around here and or there was anyway before maybe the yeah. modern gentrification and stuff but there was always a sense of um of Togetherness. community yeah. they all knew each other they all looked after each other looked out for each other yeah that was a thing, wasn't it? Yeah, especially during the war, like when the houses were bombed and all that. Yeah, like, right, of course. My great uncle yeah. was like pulling like, um, people out of the houses and stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. Would have been quite soon after it was built, wouldn't it, yeah. really? All yeah. that. Yeah. So, um, yeah, an interesting place, definitely. I think this is quite a... Um, is this where we're going to end the video, do you think? Yes. Quite a good place, to, uh, good place to finish off, isn't it? There we go. <laughs> So 
So here we go, we are in the Dolphin having a nice pint. Yeah. So that's... Um, yeah, like. Lovely, thank so, you yeah, for Nice, good yeah. stuff. So that was um, Burnt Us Lane with yes. the Bird Womfords and all that. So um, join us again for another episode of Walking Around Exit at Talking Bollocks, where we will do some more walking and talk some talking more bollocks. Talking Bollocks, yep. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Please like, share, and subscribe to the Good, the Bad, and the Ugly Show. Because there's no room left in hell.